Hello, gamer now is back. And in this video, we're going to help this level one noob awaken the blue flames of the flame fruit. But before we start, you can show your support by using star code gamer gnome when purchasing Robux. Five percent of the earnings will go to this channel. This will really help us make better videos. With the actor slam, oh there it is! Forward, that's your slam. That's the dunk. Last time I made a similar video. Check it out. The fruit is different, the skills look different. So now guys, I'm just going to show you a preview of the skills. So Z skill unawakened, X skill unawakened, T skill unawakened, and the V skill unawakened. Sorry guys, I forgot to show you the F skill, but don't worry. You will see it all throughout the video. So this is the Z skill awakened, check that out, blue flames. But sadly, on the X skill awakened, it is not color blue, but there is DPS. See that? Next is the C skill awakened. Here it is. Really looks cool. There's a jumping effect and the V skill awakened. There you go. Look at that skill. <laughs> okay, this is the F skill awakened. Okay, so enough with the preview. Guys, are you ready to grind this fruit? So guys, it's starting level 1. We're getting this one and start with the bandits. So guys, we have the fire bullets, right? So as you can see, very easy. Guys, this is a logia fruit or elemental, which means when you reach a certain level, these mobs cannot damage you as long as they don't have hacky. See that guys? No damage. So Z skill, there you go. And keep on defeating this mob until level 15. And oh, by the way guys, we will be unlocking the F skill, the one I've been talking about. There you go, fire flight. Here it is, it's really slow. <laughs> Next island is the jungle. So guys, straight to the gorillas. High ground is our friend. Just skip the monkeys because they're so far apart. Okay, next top is King Kong or the Gorilla King. At level 22. Guys, check this out. Just create distance, okay? You won't be able to use or take advantage of your elemental uh, fruit here because this one has hockey, okay? So there you go. At level 35, we're gonna leave this area. Here are the stats, blocks fruit 65, melee defense 20. Okay, next area is the pirate village. So here, we're gonna start with the pirates. So as you can see, they don't have hockey. Again, very easy grind here. Again, I started at level 35. We're gonna unlock burning blast. Here it is, there you go. So guys, grinding will be a lot faster, right? Okay, so gamer now, what's our next target level? Level 45, after that, we can go straight to these dudes, the brutes. So there, it's easier to grind here because again, you're elemental. Your fruit is elemental, okay? So target level here is 60 or you can start grinding the clown at 55. But guys, I suggest if you don't, uh, if you want to make things faster, just stay with the brutes, okay? But fighting this one will give you more money and experience. A way to make it faster is by doing server hop, okay? Okay, so guys. There you go, at level 60, oops, we just got hit there. We are moving on to the next area. Here are the stats, Blocks Fruits 130, Melee 25, Defense 25. Next up, the Desert. Anyways, you've already activated your elemental effect, which means they cannot hurt you, these dudes, these Desert Bandits. Also guys, we're gonna unlock our C skill along the way, the Fire Column. So now we have three skills. There you go. Okay guys, level 75, we are going to move on to the next set of mobs, the Desert Officers. So guys, again, elemental scene effect, so don't worry about grinding here. There you go, target level is level 90. So once you reach level 90, next island, but before that, here you go, stats first. 203 block fruits, 35 melee and defense. Guys, we don't need much defense yet because again, we're taking advantage of the elemental effect. So guys, Frozen Village, head to the cave, look for this one, there you go, this dude, the ability teacher, buy the air jump, aura, and flash step for 130,000 berries. After that, it's straight to the snow bandits, no worry, elemental is in effect, and after 105, next target is the yeti. So guys, again, bosses have hacky. So after every skill that you use, just create distance until your skill cooldowns, okay? Then use your skills, dodge, use your skills, and that's it. Target is 120. Again, guys, stat check. Melee 50, defense 50, blast fruits 260. Here you go, guys. 
Next up, my favorite island, the Marine Fortress by Black Cape. There you go, 50,000 bellies. And here you go, guys, Chief Petty Officers. There you go, very easy. Elemental. And at 130, you can start defeating the Vice Admiral. So, guys, this boss is one of the best boss to defeat in the first C because of the money and how you can defeat it easily. Actually, you can do wall strat here, but I don't suggest this. Because again, we don't have M1, so make sure to use your strategy with the Yeti. Same thing, use your scales. After that, dash to the side. There you go, again, after that, dash to the side to dodge his attacks. Because again, we have uh, low defense, right? So focus on dodging first. There you go. Guys, we're gonna unlock our V-Skill here. The Flame Destroyer. Here it is. Guys, finally, we unlock all the skills at just, I think, the fourth island, right? Go. Okay, I know. This is the fifth one, sorry. So here are the stats. After that, the prison. So guys, here we have three bosses. Guys, take note, there are lots of other players that loves to grind here. Like, for example, this one. Oh, oh, a magma user. But guys, avoid fighting. Just keep on grinding. There you go. Check it out. Wall strat is our strategy here. Just lure them in a wall and they cannot attack you. Again, just a reminder, even though uh, this fruit is elemental, check that out, guys. <laughs> He's being damaged. Don't do that, guys, okay? Make sure to listen to gamer norm strategies. Okay, at 2.30, you can start defeating the Chief Warden here. A better technique, lure both of them. First, get the quest of the Warden. After you defeat him, war a Chief Warden is already damaged. You can now get Chief Warden quest, okay? okay don't worry if you have or attack them at the same time, you will definitely defeat the Warden first. So next up, the Swan. Guys, Swan has a long range attack, so make sure to create more distance. Oops, someone is here again. Okay, bro, let's create distance. What? Guys, I think he wants to attack the enemy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. Oh, see that, guys? I get damaged. Whoa, guys, check this out. He wants to use left clicks again. Bro, you will... Oh! See that, guys? He almost died. I hope he doesn't attack us. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh! What? Level difference too high. Anyways, target level is 350. He what? Guys, check that out. A V4 shark user is here in the first sea. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, let's check our stats. We're just gonna leave this area. Don't worry. We've already reached 350. There you go. 750 block fruits, mill defense, 150. Okay, Magma Village. So here, guys, we're just gonna defeat the Magma Admiral. We're gonna do server hop. That's a technique. Use your skills and dodge his own skills. It's very easy to time, so don't worry. No problems with that. There you go. Again, do server hop here. The mobs here have hockey, so... If you plan on grinding here, I don't suggest it. <laughs> there you go at 425 next up. We are leaving this area and we're heading to the underwater city. So here again, boss fight. So someone's already fighting him. Okay. Oh, he died. See the guys? He died. It's not our mistake. So guys, he should just lure the boss here and do wall strat, right? So again, make sure to watch guides to grind faster. Oh, no, no. Oh. Guys, that's not my mistake, but we're gonna say sorry. He dashed in between our attack and the enemy. Sorry, bro. Guys, check this out. I wanna share this clip. Guys, he said high five. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? With the Magma Z skill, the Magma Clap. Anyways, here guys, this is new. Since we're elemental, we're just gonna grind here until 458 and head to the Skylands. And before heading, to the upper yard, we're gonna defeat God's guards first. So guys, there you go. We're gonna grind here until 483. Four, so it's very easy, just one whole combo, Z, X, C, V skill, and that's enough. And after that, we will be heading to the upper yard. Guys, here are the stats. Okay, so next up, Shandas until level 500. So is that faster? I think it is in a way, guys, because we're elemental. But it, everything would be a lot faster if we just have an M1, right? Like, with the Ice Fruit. So there you go, guys. Once we reach level 500, we can start defeating the Whisper. But in our case, it's 501. <laughs> so 
So for the Whisper until 637, guys, again, remember the stone strat. You stay in the stone and he cannot damage you. Why? Check this out. Check his cannon. Boom. See that, guys? No damage. So keep using your skills until you defeat him. Okay? So gamer nom target level here. Target level here is level 637. Why 637 gamer nom? Anyways, here are the stats because on the next island, the final island, the Fountain City, that is the requirement to activate your elemental effect with the Galley Pirates. So guys, here we go. That's it. We're gonna reach level 700 here. How about the Galley Captains? They have hockey. How about Cyborg, guys? He's too tanky. Anyways, heading to the second sea and we're gonna awaken all the skills. We're gonna skip the raid parts. I'm just gonna show you the requirement. Fragments. Fragments required. So let's head to the hot and cold. There you go. So for the Z skill, 500 fragments is required. So let's add up everything. There you go. We'll be unlocking. Also unlocking lots of titles. F skill, 1000 fragments. So that's 1.5. X skill, 3000. So that's 4,500. For C skill, it's 4,000 fragments. So 8,500, right? And last one, 5,000 for V skill. So I think it's a total of 14,500. So guys, let's, here's the comparison. Z skills. There you go. X skills. Boom. See that? There is DPS or burning effect after. For the C skill, okay, I prefer the uh, unawakened bot. Check the range, guys. This is the awakened and this is the unawakened. Cannot kill two of them. Okay, so this is the V skill. Check it out, guys. The awakened V skill can defeat almost everyone in this island. <laughs> for the F skill. And I think that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this one. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.